So here we go. Our first official sleepover. Well, that doesn't count. Passing out on the couch at my place after a party when we were just friends is not the same as sleeping over in my bed as my boyfriend. <laughs> you okay? Well, you just got a weird look on your face. Yeah, you look... You look nervous. Are you nervous? Okay, so... I changed the bedding this morning. <laughs> of course I did. I'm not going to have you sleep over in the sheets I've been using. That's rude. And it shouldn't surprise you, but I don't sleep in pajamas. I sleep in a hoodie and shorts. Yeah, because I'm always cold. But if I wear pants, I'm too warm. So the shorts are kind of a nice offset to the hoodie, you know? <laughs> did you put your stuff in the bathroom? Cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's late. I'm getting tired. Are you ready to turn in? We watched like three movies in a row and then I kicked your butt. <laughs> At the game that you suggested, might I add. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm wiped. So here we go. Our first official sleepover. Well, that doesn't count. Passing out on the couch at my place after a party when we were just friends is not the same as sleeping over in my bed as my boyfriend. <laughs> you okay? Well, you just got a weird look on your face. Yeah, you look... You look nervous. Are you nervous? You've never stayed over with a girlfriend before, have you? Right. Sorry. Um, <laughs> well, if this is your first relationship that's serious enough for that, then I'll take that as a compliment. We're just going to sleep. There's no anything else. We haven't gone there and we're not going to yet. So we're just being together. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, why don't we get in the bed? Okay. Get settled under the covers and we'll see how you feel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I chose the really soft sheets because I thought you'd like them. And there's extra pillows. The two there are new because I didn't have any extra pillows when I looked into it today. There we go. Okay. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good. It'll be nice to spend the night in each other's arms. <laughs> you still seem unsure. Do you want to go home? Because you totally can. I won't be offended. It's fine. I know. You're having trouble relaxing. Okay. Um, here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Just come toward me and put your head on my shoulder. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just going to leave the light on on the nightstand for a bit just until you relax, okay? Just do what comes naturally. I'm just going to rub up and down your back. <laughs> it's nice and warm in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm in your arms, too. Okay. Mm. Yeah. I know. My hair's down. It's never down. But sometimes I like to sleep with it that way. It takes the pressure off my head from the ponytail. 
Well, I did wash it this morning, so I'm glad it smells good. Mm -hmm. You're starting to relax. Mm. You know, being in your arms is one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about it much. I don't get all mushy very often, but, you know, I'm feeling it now. <laughs> but it is. Mm. I love it when you hold me and you just make this contented sigh slash humming noise in your throat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? You good? No, we don't have to sleep yet. Just relax. Take some deep breaths. It's not really any different than sitting on the couch together, except we have blankets to keep us warm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have fallen asleep on my couch before. Yes, you have. Mm. It's fine. And in the morning, once we've had a good night's sleep, we'll get up, I'll make some breakfast, and then I know there's a movie you want to see, so we can maybe check that out after lunch. I'll even give you another chance to beat me at your own game. <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty perfect to me too. Don't you remember having sleepovers as a kid where the most exciting part was the fact that you've got more time with your friends? You didn't have to stop what you were doing because somebody had to be home for curfew or whatever. Well, this is no different. We like spending time together. And by staying over, you don't have to drive back to your place, which is not a far drive, but it's far enough. And we can just start tomorrow fresh together. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I loved sleepovers as a kid. Mm-hmm. I had a group of friends in elementary school that every weekend we were at somebody else's house. One weekend it would be mine, and the next it would be my best friend who was my neighbor, and so on. There were five of us. Mm-hmm. And we kind of knew what we could get away with at each house. Like, my one friend, her parents were never home, and they were kind of not absent, but they were really busy and their lives were pretty chaotic because of their work schedules. So it was usually a babysitter of some sort and the babysitters honestly didn't care. So we got to eat all kinds of junk food. We got to stay up really late. You know, the things that kids love doing. <laughs> but then there was my other friend who was the complete opposite. And we knew that if we stayed over at her place, it was going to be healthy snacks and don't watch too much TV because it'll rot your brain and go to bed early enough that you'll get a good night's sleep and get up in the morning and help with, you know, breakfast and chores and whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rest of us were kind of somewhere in the middle. My mom used to love it. Mm -hmm. She loved having us all over. She almost felt like a member of the group, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we kind of went our separate ways, grew up a little bit. We went into high school and we all kind of found different friend groups and it stopped. And, you know, in high school, having slumber parties like that just wasn't a cool thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I still talk to my best friend. Her parents still live next door to mine, so we see each other when we're home for the holidays and whatever, but we text and we go for dinner every now and then when we can find the time, so yeah. <laughs> they were some of my favorite sleepover memories with my friends, but I have a feeling having a sleepover with you is going to just knock that out of the water. Mm-hmm. Well, you're... You know, 
Kind of cool. I like hanging out with you. <laughs> I'll keep you around for a while. <laughs> mm. You seem more relaxed. Well, I can keep talking and, you know, distract you to the point of boredom bringing on sleep, if you'd like. <sighs> I knew you were going to say that. Thank you. I'm glad I never bore you. Because that'd be kind of horrible. <laughs> anyway, we should get some sleep. Well, yeah, if you're ever going to have a chance of beating me at that game, you need your rest. <laughs> okay. Just relax. Mm. Feel how nice and cozy warm it is in these blankets. Mm. Scent of my hair. Yeah, just relax. <sighs> I can smell your toothpaste. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah, you're the only person I know that uses that particular toothpaste, so it kind of makes me think of you when I smell it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. Just relax. Close your eyes. Just be with me. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's a brand new day, and we have so many things we can do. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the movie, too. Shh, no more talking. Just breathe. Hmm. No, I'll turn off the light once you've gone to sleep. No, I don't have to move. I'll just tell Siri to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sleep now. Mm-hmm.